Hey, what's going on guys? My name's Colin Frisky. Today I just wanted to go over some things about the first person controller that I just put out. Um, so there were some pretty easy changes that I could have made uh, to make it a lot better. I got a lot of great feedback on Reddit and the YouTube video itself. And so what I did is I went that and I kind of applied that already for you guys. And so the link down in the description will be the updated scripts. I have a GitHub for the whole, all of the scripts that are used. Um, so a couple of big changes I made. Um, one, I kind of followed this guy's comment on my Reddit post where he says I should use inline variables for the Raycast, which I completely agree. Um, I the switch statement for the player state I talked about in the last video how I was gonna but then I just thought it'd be easier for you guys to see what was going on if I didn't um, so I changed that back I did look into the floating point comparison and the only time I do that is if I set it to zero right before the and then only change it so it's set to zero right away and then if I change it then it's not zero and I check if it's not zero otherwise I might be just missing where that is I don't exactly know the line number, it's, it's, all, it's a lot of lines of code that I went over. And the input class, I com I redid it to use properties instead of the fields. So that was great feedback that I got and I wanted to apply it right away for you guys because I want this to be a viable controller where you guys can use and kind of add your own stuff to it. Um, second, you can see here, Liquid Ink talks about the usual FPS controller problem where it stutters when moving and turning. So what he's talking about is basically how I was using fixed update for the movement of the character, but update for the camera. So they're working at two different cycles here. So I had two options, basically either change the camera to go to fixed update, where it would run the at the same physics rate of the character, or move the or interpolate the character into the regular update so I did the second because it worked a lot better so you can see if I turn off these two scripts here and try to run it um, you can easily see it if I move try to move around this corner you see how it's all kind of stuttery and stuff that's what he's talking about so what I wanted to do is I wanted to fix that and so I read online and I found this great article it's from kinematic soup um, it's it's written by, uh, yeah, I can try to find his name right here. It's written by Scott Sewell. He's a developer at Kinematic Soup. And he goes into real depth, like real good depth about the issues that were happening or what I did wrong and then the way to fix it. So you can easily see like this is what was going on right there that I showed you. I wanted it to look like that. And I wanted the controller itself to have that kind of movement for you guys. So he gives away uh, some great code here at the bottom of the article and so what I did is I used it um, so you can see he has his controller here that kind of keeps track of the times that he needs and like just basically the uh, fact the in in interpolation factor that is used in the lerp down here in the the transform function so he has it all written out to get full transform data so local position scale and rotation I changed it up a bit to only do the position and not the local position and then I got rid of the rotation and scale because it wasn't needed for what we were doing because the character the camera was rotating the character in update but the uh, so that was already like smooth the issue was the movement of the character and then he has a uh, he has this transform updater basically just calls the late update in the other um, code so coming in now so you can see there is a new uh, folder in the FPS player control just the, the code itself so if, when you download the unity package you'll get this now three folders and then the player and so what I did is I used his uh, unity project and then just kind of packed it into mine and made that change where I only included the position and so definitely if you guys are interested in reading exactly what was going wrong I definitely want 
you guys to read this it's a great read and honestly if you don't know and anything about like smooth motion or how unity does its scripting order uh i highly recommend the read it was extremely interesting um so that link will also be down in the description it's also in all of the code that i borrowed from him i credited him and i included the link where i got it from uh so Otherwise, next, I changed the player input, what I was talking about, properties, and instead of just having it all down here in the update, what I did is, you can see, input now is here, and we use a get where we return the eye that grabs the axes and kind of normalizes it if you're doing more than one input. So I had to change the controller where I referenced all of those. Uh, then he said the inline, which you can see here, this out variable hit, instead of having that raycast hit up here I'm just doing it in the line so i do that for all of the local raycast hits as well so to show you guys how that worked you so i'll show you again if i still have them okay so i'll uncheck mark them just to kind of show you again the gross stuttering that was happening so right here you can see because the camera is moving at update and the player is moving at fixed update you can clearly see that jitter and so coming over here and using Scott's scripts here um, you can already tell look at that it's not 100% perfect but it looks way better than what it did honestly just the movement is so smooth and it worked out perfectly any changes that I make I will be making it to the github down in the description and I'll always be updating the unity package so I have the unity package going through Google Drive and so any uh, updates to it I can just create a new version of that and it's the same download link so people who are coming here or if you come to this video later on uh, any updates that I do will be on all of the uh, download links for the unity package and in the github but to set it up uh, you can see now i have two different prefabs here in the scene so you'll have that regular player here down in the fps and then you can go into the uh, fixed interpolation and grab this controller and then drag it out here as well so make sure you have both the controller and the player um, because this controller handles uh basically the interpolation and it gets that factor that is needed for both of these so just remember to do that if uh, the interpolation isn't working or you're getting an error definitely check that you have this controller in the scene otherwise that's it for me i just wanted to show you guys the updates that i, I went in and, and made um i hope you guys enjoy and if you did like if you're here and you're enjoying the controller uh, definitely subscribe there'll be the next part coming real soon i just have to finish up all the rest of the coding really um otherwise that's been me guys hope you have a good day peace